welcome students today in our 10th maths class we are going to see unit 4 geometry in this session our focus is on construction of similar triangles example 11 in unit 4 let us recall the definition of similar triangles two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional that is in the same ratio we can visualize this concept using this picture here we say triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR now let us read the question example 11 in unit 4 construct a triangle similar to a given triangle PQR with its sides equal to 7 by 4 of the corresponding sides of the triangle PQR scale factor 7 by 4 is greater than 1 before drawing the diagram let us keep the following points in our mind point 1 look at this scale factor 7 by 4 we draw an arrow like this that is from the denominator to the numerator this means we are going to draw a bigger triangle from the smaller one point 2 look at this picture whenever we draw a bigger triangle from a smaller one P dash and R dash will be outside the triangle point 3 for all the types of smaller to bigger triangles, we take 4 cm equilateral triangle. We may take any type of triangle here, but by drawing an equilateral triangle, we get a nicer look of the diagram. Keeping these points in our mind, let us start to draw the diagram. First step, let us draw the rough diagram. Mark 3 points and draw a triangle mark the point P here, Q here and then R here. Now join PR, mark P dash R dash and then 4 cm on all the three sides of the triangle. Next step we are going to draw an equilateral triangle of side 4 cm each. Okay? For that I draw a ray QX, then I draw an arc of radius 4 cm on QX, mark the point of intersection as R, then without changing the radius I draw another arc at Q, repeat this at R also, mark the point of intersection as P. Now join PQ, next join PR. Okay. Now we have an equilateral triangle. Next part, we are going to draw a ray QY such that RQY is equal to 45 degree. We can take any acute angle here. But if you take 45 degree, we can draw the arcs and lines more legibly. Okay. Now let us draw the ray QY. Next we are going to draw 7 arcs starting from the point Q. This is because we have 7 in the numerator of the scale factor. We may note that for all the types of similar triangle we draw arcs equal to the bigger number of the scale factor. Okay. Now let us draw the arcs. Radius of each arc is 1 centimeter. Mark this point as Q1, next Q2, next Q3, next Q4, next Q5 next to Q6, next to Q7. Okay. Next, we are going to join Q4 and R because in the denominator we have the value 4. So, Q4 and R joined. Next, we are going to draw a small arc 
with radius less than 1 cm at Q4. Okay, a small arc at Q4. Without changing the radius, draw the arc at Q7. Mark the point of intersection as I1. Next, mark the points of intersection of the previous arc. Measure the distance. With this distance as radius, draw an arc at I1. Mark the point of intersection as I2. Now, draw a line joining Q7 and I2. It meets the line Qx at one point. Mark this point as R dash. Next, extend the line segment QP to a little bit. Okay. Now, we are going to repeat those steps we did at Q4 and Q7 at R and R dash. Yes. Draw a small arc at R without changing the radius at R dash. Mark the point of intersection as I3. Mark the intersecting points of the previous arcs. Measure the distance. With this distance as radius, draw an arc at I3. Mark the point of intersection as I4. Now, draw a line joining R dash and I4. It meets the extension of QP at one point. Mark this point as P dash. Now, P dash Q R dash is the required triangle. Hope you all enjoyed this class. Thanks for watching.